Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode 13 of the 120 days to jump mathematics with Flash Isaac. We've done a lot on that number and numeration, fractions, decimals, percentage, and approximations. So, this will be our last video under this outline for now so we can check out other interesting topics. The first question in this episode says, three guests share a number of apples in the ratio 5 ratio 3 ratio 2. Ratio 2. If this highest share, highest, is equals 40, find the smallest share. If three beautiful guests shared apple in the ratio 5 ratio 3 ratio 2, the highest share is simply the girl who took this ratio 5. And the smallest share is simply this person having ratio 2. That is the logic. And we are told that the person taking the highest share took 40. What will the smallest share have? Step 1. Find the total ratio. Total ratio. The total ratio is... 5 plus 3 plus 2 and this is 10 if this is total ratio the girl with ratio 5 we simply take 5 over 10 of the total the person with ratio 3 we simply take 3 over 10 of the total apple this one with the least ratio, we take 2 over 10 of the total. The good news for us is that they gave us how many apples the person with ratio 5 got. Which implies that the person with ratio 5 taking 5 over 10 of the total apple and 5 over 10 of the total apple is equals 40 according to them. 5 over 10 of total. Of in mathematics speaks of multiplication. So 5 over 10 times the total is equals 40. Solving this, 5 times t is 5t. So 5t over 10 is equals 40. If you choose to cross multiply directly or simplify anyhow you want, so long you get the same like I do. For me, I will say 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So t over 2 is equals 40 over 1. Cross multiplying, t is equals 80. So the total oranges is 80. That is the reason the person with ratio 5 is getting 40. The person with ratio 2 we simply have 2 over 10 of 40. That is 2 over 10, 80, which is 16. So the least share 
is 16 apples. This person is taking 24 apples because that will be remaining 3 over 10 times 80. So adding everything, it amounts to 80. So 16 is our correct answer. Sometimes you will be asked to calculate how much this got or the average of the share. The average will be 16 plus 24 plus 40 divided by 3. You'll be asked to look for the difference between the highest share and the lowest share. That is 40 minus 16. The difference between the three shares, 40 minus 24 minus 16. Some of the highest and the lowest. Find the task. Find the task. Paid on an income of 20,000 naira. 20,000 naira. Tax was paid on it. And it says, if no tax was paid on the first 10,000 naira, the person is any, or the income is 20,000 naira. And it says, the first 10,000 naira, no tax. Which simply means that tax is on the second 10,000 naira. So the task is on this 10,000 naira. Here, no task. And task is paid at 5 naira in 1,000 naira. And task is paid at 5 naira in 1,000 naira on the next 5,000 naira. Okay, this is what this is trying to say. For this, for the up, uh, this, 10,000 naira, no task. One of the 10,000 naira task, this other 10,000 naira, no task. Now, in this 10,000 naira that they are paying task on, the first 5,000 naira, they are paying task of 50 naira per 1,000 naira. Which means, for this 5,000 naira, the total task will be 50 naira times 5. Because we have 5, 1,000 naira in 5,000 naira. This will be 250 Naira. And on the next 5,000 Naira, task is paid at 55 Naira in 1,000 Naira. So the remaining 5,000 Naira, is 50, the task is 55 Naira on every 1,000 Naira. And how many 1,000 Naira do we have in 5,000 Naira? 5. So since we have 5 1,000 Naira in 5,000 Naira and one of the 1,000 Naira they are paying 55 Naira so we we'll have 5 55 Naira being paid out of the 5,000 Naira is 275 Naira which means the 10,000 Naira that tax is being paid on the first 5,000 Naira tax of 250 Naira was paid the second 5,000 Naira 275 Naira was paid so, the total task on this remaining 10,000 Naira is 250 plus 275. 250, 275. 5. 5 plus 7. That is 12. 525 Naira. This is the total uh, task paid on the income. What is the question? Find the tax on an income. So that is it. 525 Naira is the total tax paid on the income. So ladies and gentlemen, the person is getting 20,000 Naira and is paying tax of 525 Naira. The money remaining for him to spend will simply be 20,000 Naira minus 525. Because they can ask you that, that type of question. How much will he be left with? So this brings us to the end of the class. Time for assignments. Open the flash jam application. Go to question search. Type ratio. Answer the questions that follow. Go to question search again. Type task. Answer the question that follow. If you have any questions, reach me on my social handles. See you in the next episode.